Welcome uh, to Securing Secrets in Source Control with Automated Deployment Session. My name is Obesnel Mas Lara, and Software Architect at Cisco Systems. And with me is Luis Rueda, who is a Senior Software Architect at Cisco Systems. And we will be your presenters today. As we know, storing our secrets in a source control system is a security risk. For example, if we push our database passwords, API keys, or app, or app secrets to a Git repository, they will be exposed to the world. However, we want to keep secrets uh, source control and available to our CI CD pipelines and authorized users. A solution to this problem is to encrypt the secrets. And for that, we are going to use GPG and a tool called Git Secrets. Let's look at the different steps needed to uh, encrypt your secrets using this tool. Thank you, Ove. What we have here is uh, what we call the encryption workflow, which in essence are the four main steps that are required uh, for us to accomplish the task. The first thing that we're going to start off with is we're going to initialize the Git uh, in repository, or if it's an existing Git repository, then, then we can use that. Next, we're going to go ahead and install Git secret tool. Once we have Git secret tool installed, we'll initialize, the, initialize that Git secret uh, repository, and then we're going to go into adding the users who will have access to the secrets. Once that is completed, we're going to add the files to be encrypted, uh, determine which ones uh, we, can, we can add, and if, if need be, we can add more than one, of course. Then we're going to proceed on to encrypting the files that we have defined in step two, and uh, just as a safety precaution, we're going to check that the non-encrypted file is marked as ignored from checking into Git. Once we've done that, we'll commit the code into Git by staging and, and committing the changes and pushing the code to a remote repository if needed. Now we're going to look at a demo on how we can accomplish this in, with, by doing some hands-on uh, stuff with, with Git secrets. We're going to use a repository within the DevNet-Create organization in which we have no passwords or secrets whatsoever. The, as you can see in, the, in this web page, the repository that we're displaying doesn't have any passwords or secrets uh, yet committed to the repository. The first thing that we're going to do is to install git-secret. In order to do so, depending on the platform that we're using, we're going to have different installation methods. For macOS, which is the platform that we're going to demo this on, we're going to use homebrew and execute uh, the installation with the command brew install git-secret. So let's head on to a terminal and execute the command brew install git-secret. As you can see, uh, the message that it, that it returns is that git-secret is already installed. And for the sake of, of, of briefness within this demo, we're not going to reinstall it. Next, we're going to execute the command git secret init. And uh, with this, we're going to initialize this directory as a git secret directory. Once we do that, as you'll see, we'll get uh, two new things within the directory. First one is the .git ignore file, which contains um, the random seed, which we want to exclude uh, from being committed to the repository, and the .git secret directory, which will contain everything ranging from the keys and, and who knows the secrets within our uh, repository. Once we have done that, the next thing that we need to do is tell or list the, the, the developers or users that will now have access to the encrypted files that we will be soon adding to a repository. But in order to accomplish this, we first need to add the public GPT keys of those users or developers that are going to be part of this repository. As we see in the overlay video of Snell, is, is helping us to export uh, and list his key and export it and pass it on to us so that way we can add 
the his Pauli key to our list of or, or to a list of, of public known keys and with that we're going to be able to add him as the users who knows the secrets has shared with us the file we're going to proceed to import this file with the gpg dash dash import and the name of the file once we do that we'll see that we have added a gpg public key for his username now we can proceed to add him to the list of users who know the secrets for this repository for this repository in order to accomplish this we'll execute the command give secret tell and we're going to add him to the list of users who we're going to tell the secrets um, while doing this keep in mind that you need to also add yourself as a list of, of users otherwise you will be able to encrypt uh, the, the files, but will not be able to decrypt them afterwards. So I'll add myself also to the list of, of users who know the secrets. Uh, we can check who the users are within this list by executing the command git secret who knows. The next thing that we're going to do is add the file that we want to encrypt. So we're going to create a password the txt file uh, with the content this is my ultra top secret password and we're going to save this file if we look at the uh, contents of the file we'll see that the contents are not encrypted so the next thing after adding the file is to tell git secret to add this file to the list of encrypted files once we do that we'll notice one thing the first thing is that dot git ignore has now added the passwords.txt to the list of files that we want to exclude the reason is we never want to commit the unencrypted file into the repository but as you see we have no encrypted file yet in order to uh, have the encrypted file we need to tell git secret to hide all the files that we have stated that are part of the secrets with the git secret hide command we'll accomplish this and and you'll see that now we have a passwords.txt.secret file which is not a plain text file now if we were to execute the same command with a dash d it would also delete the original unencrypted file the only thing that remains is for us, to, for us to stage these changes and commit them to the repository. We'll, we'll do this with the standard git add command and then git commit. And we're gonna add a message stating adding encrypted passwords.txt file. Once that is done, we'll push everything to the repository and now if we go back to the github page and we refresh it we'll see that we have the dot git secret directory that we had in our local um, repository and the passwords.txt.secret however we do not have the unencrypted passwords.txt file now if we hand it over to Obesnel, he'll show us how he can pull the files from this repository and also unencrypt the files because he is now part of the people who know the secrets. So I will first clone the repo, change directory, and now let's check out the branch that we are using for this demo. If you can see, we have the encrypted password file here. And to unencrypt that file, we will use git secret reveal command. And it will ask you for the passphrase that you use to create your private GPG key. If we now list the content, we have two files, the unencrypted file and the encrypted file. 
And if you can see, we have access to the unencrypted password now. As you saw in this short demo, it is possible to keep your secrets secure in your source control system and at the same time accessible to only authorized users. Thank you so much for your time and please reach out with any questions. Have a great day.